Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. Now, the housing market has been going crazy, I know, here in Arizona and across the country. But how is your credit score and how are you going to be able to either rent or buy without a good credit score? Well, I'll tell you, Marvin and Gloria Smith are here with us to, to let us know because actually it's National Fair Housing Month. And, and let's explain to people what, what fair housing is. Uh, what fair housing is, is making sure that everybody has an equal chance at buying a house, no matter race, age, you know, or ethnicity. Yeah. Um, and, and the credit report is definitely important there, Gloria, to have. Am I right? Yes, it is. And you can get a free credit report by going to annualcreditreport.com and get your free credit report. And they'll give you all three bureaus once a week. So, all right, Marvin, I got to ask you, when we go to this, how correct is our credit report? Because I know sometimes we go to those other places and this gives you a little bit. Yeah, well, when you go to annual credit report, it's one of the most in-depth credit reports you can get. The only thing they don't give you is the score. And uh, like you said, you know, several Americans have mistakes on their credit report. And that's what we help Americans do. We help them correct the information that's on their credit report. So, okay, what steps can you take if you have like nothing on your report and you, and you need that credit? Well, one thing you could do is have a relative add you to their credit card, a credit card that they have perfect pay history on or a spouse, or you could check with your local bank or credit union and see if they have a secured card that you can apply for or a credit builder program. I never even thought about that. I mean, I, I never thought about actually talking with your partner, talking with a family member and working together on this. Wow, that, that's yeah. amazing. So, okay, Gloria, let's talk about fraud because that's a lot of things people are worried about when it comes to credit reports. Right. Well, the first thing you can do is add a fraud alert by calling all three credit bureaus. And when you um, add that fraud alert, it stops creditors from processing your uh, application before calling you. Okay. Let me ask you this. Is, is it true that every time you apply for something, they check your report and it puts dings on your reports? Is, is that true? Yeah, those are called inquiries. And usually when a creditor pulls your credit, that's called a hard inquiry. Mm -hmm. And it can lower your credit score if you have multiple inquiries within a short period of time. Mm -hmm. So, and, and that's why you want to get this credit report every time, right? Yes, it's very important. So. Yeah, and if you get denied for credit, they will also uh, send you a free credit report in the mail. Perfect. So we know how to clean it up. And, and, and sometimes these are very easy to read and you can clean up little things that you didn't even know about. Like maybe it was a electric bill from your old place that just got yeah. misused and it's like $10. <laughs> Right. Yes. That's why it's so important to make sure that you have some type of credit monitoring service, which allows you to be able to see your credit report and let you give you alerts and let you know when things are happening on your credit report as well. So uh, I'll tell you uh, again, like I said, the housing market's booming. People are renting, need to have this report. So where can they find out more information? Well, they can go to our website, the psychology of credit.com. We also have our book on the Amazon and iTunes. So, and, and I like that it's a couple talking and not just one person. That's very important to have that couple talk, especially when it comes to credit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you're right about that. <laughs> thank you, Marvin and Gloria. All thank right, you. thank you.